Hello guys, just want to make a quick video today about what's going on in the market and provide some news for you today guys and I will give you some uh, news starting from a couple of days ago until today's news because they have a connection between them. So as we can see right now the market is nice and green, a lot of coins are up, Bitcoin is up, altcoins also are nice and booming. Okay. So if you're wondering yourself why all those coins and altcoins are up, then I can pretty much help you and um, see why all those coins are nice and green today. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe it, like it, and then let's go ahead and uh, go over the news. So as we guys remember a few years ago, it was a kind of problem to it was a problem to use a Bitcoin, okay? Uh, it was it was kind of difficult to use a Bitcoin because a lot of people was asking me, can I hold the Bitcoin? How can I use my Bitcoin? Can I pay my with, with Bitcoin? So, yes, right now it's not a problem anymore. A few years it was a problem. Right now it's nothing. It's, it's very use. It's a use case where you can use a Bitcoin daily and buy your stuff. So there is a nice, that's a big list, huge list of uh, payments, uh, the, the company that accept a Bitcoin as a payment method. Uh, look, let's see right here, Miami Dolphins accept, Dallas Mavericks, that's, we know that Dallas Mar Mavericks, is made, it's, the owner is um, Mark Cuban, so they accept Bitcoin for both, for tickets and uh, merchandise. But the thing is that BitPay will process all Bitcoin payments. So all those companies are um, accepting Bitcoin, but there's an there's an intermediary. Okay, there's BitPay or a different company that converts uh, their Bitcoin into the fiat money, into the USD, like momentarily. Okay, so this is the difference between um, accepting Bitcoin direct and uh, through the intermediary. Virgin Atlantic also accept Bitcoin. If you want to travel to the moon one day, you can reserve a ticket and pay with Bitcoin. Uh, yes, a cheap air. I use a cheap air for buy an airline ticket before. So I'm not going to go over all those information, but there's a big, huge list of uh, places where you can use a Bitcoin. And uh, eventually this is not going to be a question anymore where you can use a Bitcoin. Why I'm showing you this one is because I'm trying to make you a difference between this this type of accepting Bitcoin and Elon Musk accepting Bitcoin. As we know right now, Elon Musk also announced it a couple of days ago that you can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. So what's the difference between this news? Because this made a huge news. This made a nice big news all over the news, media uh social media everywhere okay what's the difference between yellow mask news and the uh, and whole foods news that accept them also bitcoin okay it's it didn't really make a big difference in news but just want to help you understand the difference between all those two acceptance of, of acceptance of bitcoin because if you don't know the meaning of the of the Elon Musk accepting Bitcoin, then maybe for you guys may not be so important. Okay, you have to understand the difference. This is when uh, you become more uh, uh, advanced and uh, more uh, confident in yourself. So, as we can see right here, Tesla is using internal. Open source software operates Bitcoin nodes directly. Okay. As we can see in other places, they use BitPay. Not anymore. So Yellow Mask, pretty much, they will operate their own nodes. There is no middleman behind the transaction. Okay. My Bitcoin goes directly to Yellow Mask or goes to the Tesla's wallet Bitcoin directly. And the biggest, the hugest news, guys, Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as a Bitcoin, not convert into fiat. This is the this is the major difference. This is the major difference, and you have to understand this. Okay, this is not something you can 
you can uh, just pass it away, okay? Please, if you don't understand something, don't make don't make it as something uh, not important, okay? You have to make sure, because these words are here, not converted to fiat currency. Those words are very powerful, and I'm trying to help you to understand why Bitcoin is important. Why Bitcoin can be one hundred thousand dollars this year? It is. It 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 really is going to be. Don't be surprised if Bitcoin will be one hundred thousand dollars this year minimum. Okay, because we got better, better news every day, every day. Because we know we got only twenty one million bitcoins. Okay, we don't have. There is not unlimited bitcoins. We got only twenty one millions. So <clears throat> we are about at eighteen million dollars, uh, eighteen million bitcoins right now, eighteen million and uh, six hundred, in use already. So the total supply will be twenty one million. So <clears throat> in order to understand you, why Elon Musk is doing this? Sorry, <clears throat> is because uh, when mining, operating, and uh, and mining the bitcoin, the total mining of of the coins daily is about 900 bitcoin a day okay so you can make only 900 bitcoins a day okay as an example if you want to buy 1000 bitcoin today you can't buy it they are not available unless you buy from somebody who sell it right that's an, that's another way to buy yes but let, but if you want to buy if nobody sells a bitcoin if you wanna and you wanna buy one thousand bitcoin, you can buy it. You have to wait. So this is somewhere where uh, we can see uh, bitcoin deflationary and uh, dollar in inflationary. Okay, this is why bitcoin goes up and dollar American dollar goes down. We have to understand the biggest difference in uh, from supply and demand. The supply is very limited and demand is high. Especially right now, demand demand is very high. So and supply is limited. This is why makes Bitcoin a super uh, super coin. It, it makes it special, okay? Bitcoin, why the most important Bitcoin is, is special is because it's limited demand. It's high demand and limited supply. Sorry. So yeah, this is something you have to keep in mind in mind because if you don't know the meaning and the difference of this news, then you may pass it and uh, not even considering. That's why I'm trying to make you sure to understand what, what's going on in the market today. What's going on, uh, that today's news that uh, pretty much caused the market to go up today is the PayPal news. PayPal, it's, it's been in, a, in the crypto market for a little bit right now. And when they come in, they come in with big news. Yeah, they come in with big news. So that, as we can see right now, this news pop out the market really nice today. So PayPal enables cryptocurrency payments at millions of stores with checkout with Crypto Lounge. That is uh, that is crazy news, guys. You have to know. You have to know what's going on in the crypto market, and then you feel more confident. You gotta know the fundamentals of the of the crypto market. That's how you are strong. That's how you don't sell a Bitcoin when it goes down like one thousand or two down, two thousand. Okay, that's this is where you feel comfortable. So payment giant PayPal has launched the check uh, checkout with crypto service to allow consumers to make payments at millions of merchants using cryptocurrency and their PayPal wallets. This is the first time you can seamlessly use cryptocurrency in the same way as a credit card or a debit card inside your PayPal account. Everybody know how big is PayPal and everybody know how important is the, is the PayPal, okay? So now you're gonna be able to use your Bitcoin, not even, not even feel a difference between a credit card and a debit card. It will be just so much easier. So why I see this news big is because the uh, uh, PayPal helps the uh, crypto community and Bitcoin to be much easy uh, usable, okay? Because a few years ago it was kind of hard to use a Bitcoin. Right now, not anymore, guys. This is something we're gonna see every day, and more and more likely Bitcoin will be go higher, and people will be embrace it. More people will embrace it. 
and more people will use it. So now you can go ahead and buy your anything, buy your uh, flight ticket, buy your hotel. If you use your PayPal, you can use a Bitcoin. So it's 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 something it's something very good. Okay. So let's go down over here. So all transactions are set in a USD and converted to applicable currency for the business at the standard PayPal conversion rate. The current the currently supported cryptocurrency are Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and uh, other. The crypto payment service will be available at all 29 million merchants in the coming months. So. Bitcoin will be available. Twenty nine million merchants you can use it. So this is something when um, pretty much uh, in a short way, PayPal is is exposing Bitcoin to twenty nine million merchants. This is the biggest exposure exposure to 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 the merchants all over the world, and they will not charge transaction fee for payments when using cryptocurrency. PayPal crypto payment service launch followed Elon Musk. So as I said before, this news is connected to Elon Musk news. And also I said before that there is a race into crypto market who who and which company is going to hold more Bitcoin in the future. And uh, that's like a domino effect. When one, when one domino falls, all domino goes away, right? So Yellow Mask start accepting Bitcoin. Now we can see PayPal accepting Bitcoin uh, and make it more more easy for um, as a payment method. And we're gonna see much more news coming soon. So there's another news over here. Visa is also working to allow Bitcoin payments at 70 million stores. So just to understand this, guys, Bitcoin is real. Bitcoin is here to stay and I have a question for you and please comment down below and let me know how much time how much more time you need and how much more information you need to to for for you to understand that Bitcoin is real and Bitcoin is here to stay and Bitcoin can make you rich how many more proofs you need to convince yourself this is my question Please let me know down below and uh, tell me your opinion. This is something uh, I may help somebody, okay? I provide information that somebody doesn't know them. So I'm kind of just connecting the dots, okay? Um, of course, you have to make your more uh, more research about this. That's not something you just watch this video and you become professional. No, 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 no. That's a very risky stuff. And but it's a very uh, having a big upside, okay. And let's go to the new to the other news that the news is come out from yesterday. Visa will start settling transactions with crypto partners in USDC on Ethereum. Ethereum, you guys, you guys don't know the power of Ethereum, and if you don't know your power of Ethereum, you have to make research. Okay, if you don't know something, if you don't uh, understand something, don't uh, ignore it. Don't ignore it. This is one of my rules. Try to try to understand this thing. Try to convince yourself. Okay, don't uh, buy something just because uh, I say or everybody uh, or somebody else. You have to convince yourself that this is something good. Visa is piloting transaction settlements in stable coins on the Ethereum blockchain. The credit card provider that moves billions of dollars each day in 200 markets today announced it accepts the first settlement payments in US dollar coin, a cryptocurrency paged to US dollar. So like a stable coin is a one to one. So that's all I can say for today, guys. Uh, Bitcoin is real. Bitcoin is here to stay. And uh, it's a nice market, okay? It's nice. It's just, it just the best day you can be in this crypto market. And I'm very sure we're going to see Bitcoin this year, $100,000.
and we're gonna see Ethereum five thousand dollars. We should see Ethereum five thousand dollars, but I'm I'm not wondering if Ethereum will be ten ten thousand dollars soon. Okay, in the next few years we're gonna see Ethereum five thousand dollars. You guys underestimate the power of Ethereum. You guys under underestimate the power of Bitcoin and uh, the other altcoins. Okay, so Bitcoin is a nice coin, but you have to keep in mind there's not there's also nice altcoins that you can pick and make a nice a good profit you have a great day and please like and subscribe this video and uh, also please comment down below let me know your opinion on, uh, on just let me know if you agree or not to me okay uh, that's fine that's fine not to be agree and that's how you you guys differentiate yourself just not to be agree with somebody and uh, let me know let me know what you guys think about crypto market you have a great day and see you next time